My name is Terry Davenport. I'm a field service engineer with Phillips Healthcare. Work out of the Minneapolis region. My primary responsibilities are MRI, and I have some secondary responsibilities in X-ray. Well, uh, today uh, we're at the Smith Mobile Equipment Company, just outside of Rotterdam, Holland. Uh, for approximately the last month, uh, two of us have been here assembling and testing two MRI systems for eventual deployment overseas. We delivered two. Uh, full MR systems, so a complete inventory has to be done of both systems. We have uh, uh, quite a number of adjustments to accomplish and tests to run to ensure that the system meets all the Phillips specifications. Uh, and then we're supporting uh, the Navy physicists as they come in and do their acceptance testing. Basically, it's a full, it's a, uh, a full featured a uh, full-blown MRI system that we would install in, normally in a hospital setting. Uh, the magnet's been installed in, into a trailer, uh, the back end of the trailer right over the, uh, right over the, the wheel carriage. And uh, the rest of the system has been distributed through the trailer to form a control room where I'm, where I'm standing now. There are a lot of technical considerations to installing an MR. We have to have clean power, we have to have, uh, we have, to have cold water, uh, we have to have environmental control, uh, we, we can't have uh, temperatures that are too hot or too cold, we have to have a humidity that's maintained so that it's neither too dry, causes static electricity, or too wet where we end up getting moisture condensing on electronics. Uh, it's, uh, uh, there are quite a number of considerations. We'll be running off a generator the entire time that uh, this is in the field, so we needed to uh, we needed to have a way to ensure that we had quality power from from uh, motor-driven power generation equipment. The, the magnetic field that's given off you know, would normally extend uh, outside the trailer some distance. Uh, they've actually put steel in the walls and the, the floor and uh, the back end of the trailer to try and contain that most of that field within the walls of the trailer. This is, is, is very unique in that it, uh, it hasn't been done before. If somebody needed an MRI, they had to be transported out of the theater in order to get the study done. Uh, I think in most cases they were transported all the way back to Germany. I spent uh, a total of 27 years in uniform. I'm a, I'm a retiree. This is uh, an, another opportunity for me to uh, to help my uh, my fellow my fellow soldiers, I guess.